I'm Tim Flynn and I'm the owner of Winters Plumbing and Heating in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Winters Company offers plumbing, heating, cooling. If you need service today, we have the business to call. My website is wintershomeservices.com. I'll be talking to you today about plumbing. Is your toilet a rocking horse? Does it go like this? Back and forth? It's not normal. Okay, a few tools you're going to need for yourself. First of all, you're going to need a pair of pliers, an open end wrench, screwdriver, and something to scrape with. You're going to be scraping some wax seal, and this is a chisel. All right, now we're going to shut the water off. What we want to do is take this shut off valve here, and you want to turn it right, right as tight. All right, now we're going to pop the caps off the base of the toilet. So basically, you want to take the, the, the blade of the screwdriver, and you want to just basically try to turn it so that it pops up. Now we're going to back the nuts off that hold the toilet to the flange. We have an adjustable wrench. We're going to take this nut and we're going to back it off. A couple of turns. You want to take these off and set these aside. You don't want to lose those. All right, so just for the safe of, uh, for safety effect, I want to remove the tank cover and I want to set this aside. So I don't need to lift this as I take the toilet up off the floor. Next thing I'm going to want to do is take the water out of the bowl. And you can do it a couple of different ways. You can take a sponge and empty it into a bucket. You could use one of our bilge pumps that we have for small boats. Now we're going to lift the toilet up off the flange and we're going to set it down on the floor. Make sure we have something to put the toilet down like a big old beach towel or something that you don't ever want to see again. Lifting is something you need to be really careful of. This is a very awkward object as much as it's not that heavy. So as you can see I've straddled the toilet, getting my whole body over the center of it. I'm standing over the toilet, I'm in the center of it, I'm going to lift straight, I'm going to rock it back and forth a little bit. And I'm going to lift straight up. Come backwards onto my rack. All right, now we're going to scrape the wax off the bottom of the toilet. And now we're going to scrape the wax off the flange. Scrape it right off. Drop it onto a paper towel. Now we're going to put the new wax on the flange. Okay, so what I have here is uh, a wax wax donut. We use them to set toilets. They come sealed in a package. So you want to put it on top and you want to mold it a little bit so that it fits the surface. And because this is already at room temperature, it's a lot more pliable to use. And I'm going to take the bolts that come through the floor. I'm going to make sure they're aiming straight up. So now we're going to reset the toilet. We want to get the toilet as close to our work as we can without dragging it across the floor, so be really careful about that. And let it compress all the way down to the floor. You want to give it a little bit of movement, nice and solid. Just snap on this plastic decorative cap so you don't see the hardware. All right, last step. Here we go. We're going to put the water. We're going to connect the water back to the from the supply to the tank. Put it on the fill valve nut. Give it half a turn. That should be enough. Mm -hmm.